When the time comes to replace the lamp in your projector, you'll be faced with a choice. Should you buy the original projector manufacturer's replacement lamp, or one of the many other cheap options available online? This short video shows the results of a test carried out by Philips Lighting, the market leader in projector lamp technology. It clearly demonstrates the sometimes shocking differences between the different options and raises questions over their true value for money. The test started in early 2014. They selected a popular DLP projector model from a well-known brand, typical of those found in many classrooms and smaller meeting rooms. The original lamp supplied inside the projector, which we'll call an OEM lamp, has a maximum brightness of 2300 ANSI lumens and a specified lamp life of 3500 hours. For the test, they fitted identical projectors with several different lamp types and ran them side by side. Two projectors had the OEM lamp fitted. Three more contained diamond lamps, which, like the OEM lamps, use Philips bulbs. Three other compatible lamp options were selected, each widely available online. And three lamps from each of these brands were fitted into the projectors. We can't name them, but we'll refer to them as compatible brands A, B and C. Before we show you how each lamp fared, it's worth noting a few differences that the Philips test engineer observed. On the OEM lamp, there is a mesh surround, specifically added at the request of the projector manufacturer for extra protection in the event of breakage. The diamond lamp has an identical mesh, but none of the other compatible brands have any mesh. The neck construction of the bulb is enclosed within the OEM lamp. It is also enclosed within the diamond lamp module, but not within any of the other compatible brands. This enclosure affects the airflow around the bulb. The projectors ran continuously for six months at a mid-level brightness setting, and the test engineer took brightness readings from each at regular intervals. This is what was found. First of all, let's drop a couple of lines onto the graph. This line represents 50% of the original 1400 lumens brightness, measured from the new OEM lamp. Drop below this line, and a lamp is below specification, and technically end of life. At under 700 lumens, the image soon becomes unusable with any ambient light in the room. This vertical line is the specified lamp life. In this lamp's case, it is 3,500 hours. So, to meet the original spec, the brightness should not have dropped below the horizontal line before it crosses the vertical one. These first two lines are the OEM lamps. They perform exactly as they should. By 3,500 hours, they are still above the 700 lumens midway point. These lines represent the diamond lamps. Although they started slightly below the OEM lamps, they too performed to specification, and all three were running above 900 lumens after 3,500 hours. So far, so good. Now, let's look at the other compatible lamps. The three lamps from brand A didn't fare well at all. All three lamps started below 1,000 lumens. Two completely failed after just 156 hours and 436 hours. The third lasted 2,800 hours before finally failing, but for its whole life was running at a brightness level under 700 lumens, technically a lamp failure. The three lamps from brand B looked promising initially. However, one failed after 856 hours. The other two continued to hold a brightness level average of 1100 lumens until around 1500 hours when they both dropped sharply and the bulbs failed within 1750 hours. Brand C, when first installed, gave an average of just 900 lumens. At around 1,200 hours, the brightness in all three dipped quickly below the fail midpoint. So, in summary, the test findings were that the OEM lamps all operated at a usable brightness level for 100% of the stated lamp life, as did the diamond lamps. The compatible brand A lamps, on average, operated at a usable brightness level for just 
3% of the stated lamp life. Brand B lamps managed to operate at an acceptable level for 38% of the stated lamp life. And brand C managed an acceptable brightness for just 32% of the stated lamp life. All the compatible lamp brands would boast great performance at a great price when offered online. But at what price would they actually represent better value than the OEM or the diamond lamp? It does make you reconsider the value of compatible lamps, doesn't it?